how to customize the header section in Hostinger Website Builder. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to modify, personalize and also customize the header section of your Hostinger website. So the process is going to be very simple. We are going to head over Hostinger.com, sign in for our account and you're going to see the H panel or the dashboard of the Hostinger account of yours. Now, what we're going to do is to head over the left side of the screen. We're going to see these uh, items or these menus. We're going to select from them the websites because we need the access of the website. Click on websites list. And from here, you are going to see the list of the websites that you have. Now, we are going to select one of the websites that we have and make sure that it is not going to have the WordPress logo. If you want to see the WordPress logo, you're going to have it right there. And we are not going to use that. Basically, we are going to use the Hostinger website builder like this. Click on website. And when you are going to see the website opened or the editor loaded up, we're going to start the work. So here we have our website, as you can see, fully loaded. Now, what are we going to do is to present for you the website from the beginning till the end. We have here the header. We have these sections until the end or before the end one, which is going to be the footer. This section in between is going to be called the body or the template. So in our case today, we're going to focus on the header. How we can select the header? Basically, we're going to see that we have this tick on the section. That means that this section is going to be selected. But the header, it is going to be having a deeper blue color. But when you click on it, it is going to be ticked. That means that it is going to be, uh, as you can see, selected. Now, how we can edit or customize the header? Basically, you are going to get this specific panel, which will help you design or edit the header, edit the navigation, edit the shopping bag, and edit the styles. Let's begin with editing the header. Click on it, and you are going to see everything. You can make the header sticky by uh, enabling this feature. You can control the element spacing of the header like that, make it a little bit smaller or the spacing is going to be a none. And also you can make it a little bit wider. You can have the link spacing also, as you can see for the links or the items of the header. And also you can go ahead and set up the top and bottom spacing from here. So you're going to get here a narrow head or a specific bigger head. Now for the header, as you can see, we have some of the customization. So the header is going to be uh, composed by the logo, the menu items, and also the cart and a button. As you can see, the button in here is going to be invisible. So because we have disabled that button, you can change the specific components, as you can see position as much as you want, but we have here five positions only. You can see here that you can select any position and see the one that will suit you. So if you want to change one of the uh, header, as you can see, elements, the spacing, or uh, here the uh, specific uh, distance between the logo and also the header, you can manage here the specific line spacing or the top and bottom spacing in here, or you can change the specific header customization. So for example, here, we are going to put the elements and in the middle nearly. And here we are going to put the elements at the left side, the logo at the center and the uh, cart at the right side. Also, we have this one, which is going to have here the specific logo at the top, the menu items here at the bottom, and also the cart is going to be following up the one in here. But I'm not going to follow that because we do not have a bigger logo or a specific appearing logo. We're going to head over this one. I think this is better. Now we are going to head over the elements and see the showing elements and the hidden ones. We have the logo. You can go ahead and show it or hide it. We have the social icons. You can go ahead and add them right there. And also you can modify them by putting the specific link for each one of the elements in here. We have the button, which is going to be hidden. You can add that button and also customize it for the link where it is going to take the visitors when they are going to click on it and also the label of that button. We have also the shopping cart that is appearing and also you can go ahead and make it disappearing. We have also the language switcher if you're going to be interested in adding a multilingual website. 
Now for the logo, you can go ahead and click on the logo and then you're going to replace the image and control the logo width like that. Now for the shopping bag, you're going to see it in here. So you can go ahead and put the icon size to the small version, the medium one or the large one. As you can see, the large one is not going to be suited for this type of the header because the elements are going to be a little bit smaller. So we are going to satisfy ourselves with the smaller version. You can also modify the text icon in here. So you can go ahead and make it short or you can go ahead and set it shopping bag, for example, and you're going to put it as much as you want. So I'm going to have it here as cart. And now let's move on to the styles. You can modify the styles of the header, the button, or the social icons. So I'm going to select the header because it is going to be the main subject. Now you can put here the header on the normal mode or on the hover. So for the header on the normal mode, it is going to be the background, which is going to be white in here. You can change it to another color or make it transparent just like that. So I'm going to be back in normal and then we are going to see that we can also put the header fully transparent by making it or enabling this option. So for the text font, it is going to be changeable, of course, and also editable. You can go ahead and upload your own font or use another platform font. As you can see from Hostinger, you can also modify the header text color by changing it to something else, for example, like that. And you can make it a little bit appearing like this or make it a little bit uh, not that appearing and put it in the middle of the colors. You can also pick up a color, for example, like this, and then we have it right there. Now I'm going to put it back to black and here we have it. You can also edit the styles text in here and you have everything. For example, for the paragraph number one, for paragraph one, it is going to be put on the height and the size of this. Also, the line height is going to be adjusted. You can make it underlined and also you can set up the preview of it. So for the navigation links, it is going to be also like this. These are going to be the navigation links. You can make them uh, bigger, for example, or smaller like this. And here, the weight is going to be, as you can see, adjustable. Now, you can go ahead and preview it and see it uh, right there. Now, uh, aside from that, you can go ahead and edit the navigation from here and click on it. So you are going to have here the navigation menu, add or hide some of the navigations, create some pages and add them in here. And then you can go ahead and control your main navigation or the menu item. Also for the shopping bag, it is going to be just a uh, shortcut for the modifying it also the editing styles as in it is going to be also a shortcut in here you can add or delete the pages and also you can have some parameters like the link settings renaming them and also duplicating them or hiding them from the navigation for the real links or real pages you can have here a more menu like the page url duplication also moving them i like a drop down menu basically that was all for today's video Thank you guys for watching. I hope that y'all enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.